Is change management storytelling always about motivating people? Welcome to Thank God It's a Story Saturday, a weekly video series where I share stories with you that you can use to make your messages stick. Today's story is from this book called Switch that I read in the year 2016. The story is an experiment story. The year is 2000, it's Chicago, it's Saturday 1.50 p.m. Some unsuspecting moviegoers go to a cinema hall to watch Mel Gibson's action flick. As they are going inside the movie hall, they are given a bottle of soft drink and a popcorn bucket and asked to stay back after the movie to answer some questions. Now the popcorn buckets are of two sizes, medium and large, and they are filled right to the brim with stale popcorn on purpose because these people are a part of a research. Now as the people are walking in, the sneaky researchers have already weighed the popcorn buckets beforehand. The researchers are trying to find out would the people with larger buckets size consume more popcorn. People finish watching the movie, they come out, the popcorn buckets get weighed again and the findings are that people with the larger buckets consume 53% more popcorn which is like 173 more calories or maybe 21 more times of a hand dip. Now if you were to go and tell these people that this is the finding, you consumed more popcorn because you had a larger bucket, they'll go, nah, not me, I don't buy into things like this. But this experiment was repeatedly done and the findings were consistent. So the problem here is that if you look at this experiment and just took two data points that normally people would take, which is the number of people and the consumption of popcorn. What you would see is that some people consume less popcorn and others consume a lot more. So some health expert would advise to you that we have to continue motivating people to adopt healthy practices, run a campaign, do this, do that, etc. But really the problem lies in just the size of the popcorn bucket. There is a simpler solution in hand, which is to change the bucket size. Sometimes in a change environment, what seems like a people problem is often a situation problem. This story may also make you think how harder why McDonald's size normal has changed and evolved so much over the years.